All right, so uh, like I said, it's been a you know a long time since I watched Soul play. Um, got a pretty good projectile game, great zoning. Um, you guys see Atlas every week, so you know how he plays. Which is playing really smart, outthinking the opponent, just doing a good job at that. All right, here we go. So I'll be on commentary with Stocks for now. What's up, Harmack? And not much, and you? Uh, doing pretty good. All right, so kind of a slow start here, but you know, just kind of filling each other out. Yeah. Jab, attack on damage. So already going for those up airs. Good up tilt, man. All right. Geo, for those of you that don't know, is a dual Sheik and Zelda main. So often you'll see him switch between matches, and it's not a mistake. He normally intends to do it. I'm thinking he's doing this uh, because, you know, Zelda can't really rush down uh, Link all too often. So, um, or at all for that matter. Um, so he doesn't want to get spaced out and zoned by projectiles. And thinks that probably Sheik will probably be able to get in, do some damage, and even Gim Link. Ooh, that was nice. Ooh. Looking good. He's just going to need to pick up this edge guard, though. Uh, doesn't get it. Yeah. Ooh. Right now it's looking nice like his strategy is going to be to rack up the damage with Sheik and then try to get like the kill with Samus, not right Samus, here. with Zelda, which is kind of how Sakurai intended it to be, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, except then they gave Sheik all the kill moves. I see. Oh, okay, so there that we go. Kind of up. All right, switching back. Gonna take that was, uh, I kind of like the option that uh, Atlas chose there, uh, mainly because uh, kind of like putting Dins towards ledge and then quickly changing back to Sheik, so even when he made it through, he uh, was still able to kind of like do something. Uh -huh. Pick up the get up, like uh, get the kill off. Yeah, it would also ignite the dins so that the hitbox would be a lot larger than it actually is when it's just standing there. Right, right, right. Cover a lot of good options, really. All right, Zol Zol's gonna need a, like he's gonna need a little bit more zoning. He's kind of going in. He's getting his cheeks range a little bit too early, a little bit too much. I mean, it's working for him right now, but if uh, Atlas picks up on that, it could be a serious problem later in the match. Ooh, good up B, covered a lot of options. When the jump, the roll, and anything else. What's up? When did Atlas get so high in percent? Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just kind of have it. Oh, that nice fair. Taking that stock. Already knows what the you know the war of attrition might be like against uh, Link, so he's already trying to get out there and get those stocks as soon as possible. Huh. Nice. This grab could lead to a lot. Oh, here we go. Ooh. All right. Uh, Ooh. Unable to get much of a follow up afterwards. Yeah, it would have been nice if he could have teleported past Link and get back to uh, stage control. Ooh, that pressure, <laughs> the bomb into the uh, into the tether. Yeah, and then that was, he was trying to get that into the down air. Too. Oh, was he really? Yeah, like you saw him go for the down air. Oh my god. That's real creative. I like this. Yeah. All right. So there we kind of saw another strategic advantage to Geo switching to Zelda, in which he wasn't, as we saw, Soul wasn't able to get the down air. Right, right. So it's basically so that he doesn't get comboed. However, a big flaw with that is that he gets a lot more susceptible to dying to just any stray hits. Right, right, exactly. Also, like I said, you know, he can't get really past the projectile, so get walled out if he can get away from it fast enough. Ooh. All right, here we go. Dins again. Atlas covering with that up smash. Good toe. Let's right, see if he can get the edge guard here. At least he's applying the pressure. Okay, back in neutral. Ooh, nice. Good tether. Brings uh, Atlas right back over the stage. All right, so we're playing a little bit more of a uh, better zoning game. Just keeping him out, waiting it out, and being patient. Uh oh, just went in a little bit too far. This could be it. Oh no, it's all right. Hold ledge. Oh, Soul nice. Soul phase back, predicting that Geo wins hold ledge for the whole lane. All right, he's gonna want to keep. And Geo's smart to get back in. Oh. Oh, up smash. That's not gonna do it. There's a really high ceiling here. And also, a good thing Link is heavy. Oh, oh, oh my god. He's looking for a way down. Oh, oh what? The gr Whoa. What just happened there? Like, he just appeared and he was already in the grab. That was that was pretty nuts. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's kind of actually surprising, to be honest. Like, that was, I was not expecting that. Yeah. All right, so counter picks here. Um, I noticed so uh, he's 
doing a good job at low percents at walling Atlas out. But then it feels like he needs to commit. Um, and then sort of Atlas, every time when it comes to that trade, Atlas always gets back in stage and then either eats a whole bunch of damage or dies for it. So with that being said, if Solo's going to play like that, he needs to probably go to a smaller stage. But if his overall general goal is just to wall out Atlas, he needs to go to a bigger stage. Uh -huh. it's, it's imperative, at least I think. Um, you know, Atlas is probably trying to download him right now. And uh, if that's the case, if he can just do that and, you know, stay out of the range of things like, just in general, uh, coming up off a ledge with uh, the Nehru's, stuff of that nature, then be all right. You know, I actually kind of like this pick because... Soul gets all the space to run around in while I'm out at the low percents, and then at the high percents, the low ceiling really accommodates him with the down air and the up air sometimes. Exactly. And up smash. And this, this, this is a pretty good pick. Not too bad. Good enough room for uh, link to zone stuff out. Platform, so you can kind of get an idea where they're going. Not too much of a mix up. Ooh, I like the option, but just didn't cover that roll. Yeah. All right. Ooh, nice spot dodge by Atlas. Yeah, Soul. It seems like he's going. He's definitely gone for a lot more grabs this game, like, just right off the bat. Yeah. I wonder if he's trying to kind of control the pace at which things are going, you know. All right, here we go. The Zelda is out. Dennis wasn't able to get edge guard because uh, Soul just finds his way easily back to stage. Ooh. Oh, wow, what a coverage. Up B, that was a good idea. Nothing that he really could have done there, actually. Yeah. Because since he already committed to the air dodge, if he faded back to ledge, he got semi-spiked like he did there. Right, exactly. And if he went towards the stage, he probably would have gotten semi-spiked anyway because Zelda's, after her special fall, isn't really that good. Right, right. So. Okay. All right. Um, so let's put himself back in that weird spot again where he's on the ledge, and this is just not doing it for him. Okay, here we go. He needs a good punish here. All right. Of course, Atlas, knowing this, is going to switch back to Zelda. We'll turn back to that original patience game. Just wait until Soul comes back in, just like that. Here you go. If you guys know, he's rushing him down. So what I'm seeing Atlas do a bit more here is that I saw him do it twice, like in a row. On Soul's shield, he would go for the Nehru's and then immediately afterwards bot dodge, expecting an out of shield option. However, both times Soul either didn't commit to that option, leaving Geo kind of open. Right, right, right. And Wonder if this is just him trying new stuff, or maybe if he's picked up on some last game. Uh huh. All right, good boomerang. He's getting back in there, getting that stage control and that extra percent that he really needs. All right, he's gonna be careful. I mean, at this point, there's really no reason for Soul, you know, needing to approach. At least I feel. Uh huh. But he's got stage control. Atlas is just really trying to find a way in. Oh, nice! Great down there platform. There's really nowhere that uh, Atlas is going to be able to go. Okay. Soul up a stock plus a slight bit. Ooh. Ooh. He's feeling himself now. Yeah. Alright. Okay. What's he going to... Oh! Spot dodge. Nice. Didn't even opt to roll back. So he didn't really lose too much. Zelda has a lot of fast kill options, but in order to get them, she needs to get around like all... Oh. All the stuff. Ooh. Yeah. Bloody match. Alright. So we're going into game three here. And um, this game, Soul was basically able to capitalize a lot more on his, uh, when he was coming in. Uh, if, if anything, it seemed like maybe he was uh, kind of, the stuff that uh, Atlas whiffed, he would punish on a little bit harder and also on top of that, uh, just baiting out things. All right, so this is going to be interesting. If Atlas picks a big stage, I think it will most definitely go to him. Uh-huh. Atlas also likes kind of the smaller stages, though. Yeah. Like, he can kind of get the edge. On this stage, for example, as Sheik, he can get all the edge guards. And as Zelda, like, besides kill, besides kill. Right, right. It kind of kind of scared me real quick with that character change. I <laughs> thought it was actually something serious. Like, is this something we haven't seen? Kyo right. actually pulls out his own link. <laughs> and then JD5 is soul. <laughs> Uh, that'd be great. Alright, this small stage. Okay. Ooh, nice toe. If it's not an early stock, it's definitely some damage. So 
So far, things are looking pretty even. So is not winning those exchange trades when they're next to each other's shields. He's each time, at least for the like three or four encounters that they've had, he's gotten either towed out of it or simply the neutral resets. But it's not really getting too much off of it. Oh, oof. Uh -huh. wow! Now the reason why I say that a small stage might actually be kind of beneficial with Zelda is that it prevents Link from really camping a lot more and. At the same time, Zelda doesn't really need to try to get in as hard because she's already covering a lot more space. Right, Because exactly. Link can't cover a space that isn't there. Right, makes sense. Ooh, up air is going to kill there. All right, he's getting his bomb game ready. He's looking like Snake. Whoa. <laughs> That's interesting. I kind of like that. Yeah. Whether it's Fox pressure or real pressure, it's something the opponent has to think about. So Woo! Ooh. Huh. I, I like that. That was nice. Okay, here we go. What do we have here? Ooh, no. I, do you think a down throw would have been better there? Uh, from Soul or? From Soul, because uh, definitely did not lead, like, he didn't even get, like, any stage. He just died off of it. Huh. No wonder. Probably would have been better considering Sheik. Yeah, Atlas was Sheik. Considering Sheik. Probably would have been at a percent where he could have gotten him into the air with, right. for example, up air, and then that's Sheik in the air versus a disjoint character. Right, right, exactly. Okay, all right. Okay, there he goes. He's respecting that ledge, knowing that uh, Alice is looking to come off with Nehru's. He's been punished with that a lot, but hopefully he can keep that mentality. Oh. He's got to get off this ledge here. Uh oh, Alice. Up air? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, Whoa. Just falling off fair. Just, yeah. No, he's not coming back from that one. These games are looking real one-sided, you know. Yeah, game one was actually kind of close. I think that was a one-stock. And then game two, two, was that a two-stock or a three-stock? That was a three-stock by Soul, if I'm not mistaken. And then this is... Looking like it's possible to be uh, a two-stock. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully Soul can catch on. His approaches are really what's hurting him so far. He's got to find something safer, at least, if he's going to approach. Oh! Didn't oh. save him. Didn't save him. It's okay. And he's linked, so he's going to be living for that. Oh, but not that. Good Gio stuff. Gio gets it anyway, and pretty sick follow-ups afterwards. I believe I fight the winner of one of those, if I'm not mistaken.